How to prevent birth defects. A birth defect is a complication that occurs to a baby during its development in the uterus. The majority of birth defects happen during the first trimester three months. A birth defect may bring about change in how the body appears, functions, or both. About 4% of babies born have natural birth defects that occur regardless of the conditions of the pregnancy. However, defects can have a number of other causes, including infections, chemical exposure and drug and alcohol abuse. There are steps you can take to prevent birth defects and increase the chances of bringing home a healthy and happy baby. Changing your lifestyle. Avoid alcohol. Do not drink any beer, wine, liquor or any other form of alcohol during conception or pregnancy. There is no safe amount of alcohol that you can drink during pregnancy, and when a woman drinks, the alcohol passes from her bloodstream into the fetus. Prenatal exposure to alcohol can cause fetal alcohol spectrum disorders FASDs. One of the most severe of these disorders is fetal alcohol syndrome FAS. FAS is the major known preventable cause of intellectual disability in the United States. Drinking during pregnancy can also lead to a miscarriage and stillbirth. Quit smoking. There is no safe amount of smoke that a pregnant woman and baby can be exposed to, so always avoid smoking cigarettes and secondhand smoke during conception and pregnancy. Tobacco intake increases the risk of a premature birth, low birth weight, birth defects such as cleft lip or cleft palate, and death. Women who smoke while pregnant are more likely to have a miscarriage. Smoking has also been linked to sudden infant death syndrome SIDS. Speak to your doctor about medications, particular over-the-counter and prescription drugs, referred to as teratogens, carry a high risk of causing birth defects. If you are taking medication, speak with your physician before conceiving. Teratogenic drugs are most dangerous between the first and eighth week of pregnancy, a period when many women may not realize they are pregnant. Thus, it is very important to consult with your doctor if you are taking medication and wish to conceive. There are a number of drugs that fall under the teratogenic category, including some antibiotics, lithium, thyroid and cancer medications, blood thinners, acne medications, male hormones, anti-epileptic drugs, antidepressants and more. A helpful list and description of high-risk medications can be found here. Refuse or quit using illegal drugs. The consumption of drugs like cocaine, methamphetamine, and heroin can lead to serious complications during and after pregnancy. These and other illicit drugs should be avoided at all costs during conception and pregnancy. Cocaine, heroin and other illegal drugs can cause premature birth, low birth weight, defects in the heart, and other complications for a newborn. In addition, a baby born to a mother who uses cocaine or heroin during pregnancy may enter the world addicted to these drugs and experience painful withdrawal symptoms. The use of cocaine while pregnant can produce babies with defects of the limbs, intestines, kidneys, urinary system, and heart. It can also cause microcephaly, a condition that leads to the development of an abnormally small brain. Cocaine also often causes placenta abruption, which can be fatal to both mother and fetus. Heroin use can cause respiratory problems, hypoglycemia, intracranial hemorrhaging, bleeding in the brain, and other defects. Heroin and other opiates also cause a withdrawal syndrome in the neonate which is very hard to treat. Avoid exposure to environmental toxins. There are many everyday solvents, insecticides, and toxic fumes that may cause birth defects, and you should avoid situations in which you may be exposed to such agents. The list of potentially dangerous toxins is long, and exposure can occur in a number of different ways, refinishing furniture or painting, agricultural work, ingesting polluted water, living near a hazardous waste site, and so on. The most common toxins a mother might come into contact with are pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, fungicides, solvents, gasoline, paint thinner, nail polish remover, and colorants, metallic dyes, furniture paint, fabric dye. For a more thorough description of the potential harm caused by environmental toxins, and the situations in which exposure can occur, see here.